Infertility is actually a really large problem in the United States and all over the world. About one in eight couples who are trying to get pregnant have trouble conceiving. In vitro fertilization is a great technology to help couples conceive. There are five simple steps to in vitro fertilization. The first step involves giving a woman medications, and we use injection hormones to grow her follicles. So the goal with in vitro fertilization is to produce more eggs than we would in an average month. In a typical ovulatory month, we recruit and ovulate one egg. With in vitro, our goal is to make 10 or 15 eggs. Then the second step is harvesting the eggs, and we do an egg collection. This is a simple procedure that is a type of minor surgery where you do get sedation and are put to sleep. Egg retrievals happen transvaginally, and we use a small needle guide to pass a needle over a transvaginal ultrasound to remove fluid from the follicles. On the same day of an egg collection, a sperm collection happens too, with a sperm sample being obtained. The third step is fertilization. This is when the egg and sperm are combined in the lab through different technologies of fertilization. One of those is ICSI, or intracytoplasmic sperm injection. After that, embryos are cultured, and the embryologists will observe the embryos as they divide from two cells to four cells and then eight cells, and we watch as they have a growth, sometimes all the way up to five days out, at the blastocyst stage where they have 100 or 125 cells. And the final step is the embryo transfer. During an embryo transfer, a woman's uterus is watched by ultrasound and a small catheter is placed into the uterine cavity through the cervix. We replace the embryo or embryos there and then we wait till 10 days later when we do a blood test in the serum to test for the pregnancy hormone. Going through IVF is a process that we endure together and really an exciting moment is getting to make a phone call to a patient, giving her the great news that, uh, that it has worked and that her pregnancy test is positive. It's by all means one of the most exciting phone calls I get to make.